Now, our first guest has been acting since he was four years old. You know him from Everybody Hates Chris and the Emmy Award-winning show, Abbott Elementary. Yes, give it up for Turner James Williams! So I, I gotta put you in the hot seat. I'm oh, gonna ask you some go. good old questions, all right? All right. Let's, Let's do see. It. Let's do it. Y'all wanna know, don't you? I heard it in the whoop! Okay. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good one already. What's the weirdest thing you saw while working at Sesame Street? Oh, um, they really be stepping out of Big Bird. There's a whole man that steps out of Big Bird, and that, <laughs> woo, that first time, it, it'll get to you. It's a lot. Okay, and how old are you? Five. You know what I mean? Gotta be like five, maybe six. I imagine seeing the yeah, whole Yeah, I didn't realize that's how they did that. The, other, the puppets, you can imagine, it's their hand. Big Bird's a whole suit, and there's just a man, and that was a lot, yeah. That's so funny. <clears throat> What's the most rebellious thing you ever did as a kid? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, okay, so I spent a lot of my childhood on sets. Um, so um, we were shooting at Paramount Studios, we were shooting Everybody Hates Chris, and me and my other kid cast members would go and trash other sets and run away. It's like, I'm so, it's, when I think about it now, like, it's horrible. We would shake up, like, soda cans, pop them, oh and release God. them, and then take off running. <laughs> I'm, to whoever the set deck was, I'm so sorry. It was him. <laughs> like, it was not, ugh, but I think you about were that a now. Kid. I, was, I was 12, 13. You I couldn't ding dong ditch, so I ruined a million dollar set. Sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, ooh, this was a good one. What were you thinking in this picture with Beyonce? The inside of my mind for sure said, <laughs> I'm gonna hug Beyonce, and that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, that, it was a lot of that. I, I checked, I knew she was gonna win because I knew that she was nominated, and I checked beforehand, and it was like, who is this? And it was Beyonce, so I was hyped. Oh my that God. That was pretty hype, yeah. And how old were you there? 14? 14. Maybe 14, yeah. Look at his face. Yeah, yeah. oh, I was ecstatic. <laughs> you would think I got the award. Okay. What she what what she smell like? Success. <laughs> what? That's the best answer. Pick it up. Mm -hmm. I like that answer. <laughs> got pop chat. Okay. Now this is from my cousin Rosie. Uh oh. She right there. Oh hey. What's okay. Up? How you doing? She wants to know. Are you single? <laughs> <laughs> and it, it appears that like she's not the only one. <laughs> she want to know, uh, too. Currently, yes. Currently, yes. OK. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, well, this leads us to this one. What's your biggest turn off when it comes to dating? Turn off? Turn off. Ego. Mm, you want to elaborate? I need to, I, need to, I need to be able to go vulnerable and deep with somebody, and ego stops that. Yeah. You hear that? I like that. OK. Finish this sentence. What's the best party you ever went to at Blank's house? Hmm. Best party I ever went to at Blank's house? Uh, I know you've been to some I parties. know, I know. I really, you know what? It was Debbie Allen's house. And I don't know if y'all know, Debbie can cook. She can cook? Whew, God, she got yellow grits that'll... He's your grandmother would lose control, trust me. <laughs> and that's the thing, you go to Debbie's house, you gonna eat. I don't even remember who was there, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I had my, my face in a plate, that was really it. Yeah, no, it was, yeah. So I gotta get to your mama's house to see the picture while get my notes together, sing a song, and then I gotta stop at Debbie's to get a plate. Oh, for sure. Y'all got that? And that's your whole day. It's that's great. the whole day. That's your Sunday. Okay. Yep. I'm on my way, Debbie. <laughs> Season finale of Abbott Elementary airs tonight. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Um, hmm, what can I tell you without getting fired? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> um, so we, we take a field trip, you know what I mean? That's, we try to end those seasons on field trips, and we were actually able to go to Philly. Oh, wow. And shoot for this episode, which is, because usually we shoot right next door, right? We're, down, we're right next door to you, we're, we're neighbors. Uh -huh. um, and we got a chance to go out there and like experience Philly and have the characters really sit in Philly, and it was really, really, really beautiful to see like them respond to Quinta and like, uh, it, was, it was beautiful, so like that, it's gonna be good. It's a good one, a lot of things happen. 
So you know, you're gonna wanna watch that one live because people will talk. We'll be watching, too. right, yeah. guys? Yes. You, I, I'd imagine you must hear from a lot of teachers. Like, what does that mean to you all? That's huge, man. I mean, not, not always do you get a chance to make something that directly resonates with the people whose stories you're telling. Mm -hmm. And they feel so seen by it. And I think teachers' response to the show has been incredible. I was recently doing a talk at the uh, University of Wisconsin and some teachers there had come to me. And there were teachers who were beginning their journeys, had just ended their journeys. And for them to say, thank you for giving me something to laugh and process all the information with was really beautiful. Oh. We must got some teachers yeah. in the house. Dude, I love that it's been like, not just entertaining, but like therapeutic for people also. You know what I mean? It's a hard job. It is not easy to do. People need to um, And they need to be able to work through that and have something to just laugh about. Um, so that's, that's really, to me, what's most like gratifying with this experience. It's beautiful. Yeah. Definitely need to know that, yeah. for sure. And what's it like working with kids? You have like 20 kids in your classroom. Yeah, no, we have a bunch of kids and like they're just walking <laughs> around the lot now. It's, uh, but I love it, man, I do. I, I, I'll work with a kid before most adult actors any day. <laughs> any day. Yeah? They're, they're not temperamental. Like I think there's this like thing that says never work with kids and animals, but that's usually from actors who are a headache. Um, <laughs> and the kids are great. Like, they, they know what they're doing. We've kept them from season one, and they, you know, the continuity is the same. They move from my class to Quinta's and then further up. Um, and it's been great watching them learn the set and learn what this is, because I was them at one point. Right. And, like, seeing that look in their eye, and when they're asking questions, I know that they're actually asking something. You know, I, I truly believe that 20 something years from now, there'll be somebody else sitting on the couch like this who got started. I was just thinking that yeah. like, they'll probably, we'll watch them For grow sure. up like we watched you grow up. For sure. Oh my God. For sure. And I you, can't wait. You started on Everybody Hates Chris. What, what do you remember most about that job in growing up? I remember a lot of that. <laughs> um, you know, it was, it was, it was a whirlwind experience for me, you know, like I don't, because I did it from the ages of 12 to 16. 12 to it was like 16. high school for me. That was like my high school experience. Oh. But it was a good time, man. I learned how to do so much. Like so much of my career will be built on the foundation that was that show. Wow, and you almost didn't get the role. Yeah. Please tell us about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so like I did, what, six auditions? Like I did six, four in New York, two out in um, LA, and I really didn't think I got it, to tell you the truth, because they booked me a flight home. And we know in the industry, if you get booked a flight home, yes. it's a wrap. Yes. That's your polite, thanks for coming, it's over. Oh my God. Um, I got on the plane, I was with my mom, and I was putting the bags up in the overhead, and she got a call. Um, and they were like, they're gonna take him and can you get off the plane? We glad and you got off. What, did you get off the plane? No, so here's the thing. Wait, this is he like, get off the plane. This uh -huh. is 2004, it's right after 9-11. You don't get off a plane. <laughs> like, you're on it, you're here. So I had to fly all the way back home just to come all the way back to shoot the pilot. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Well, we glad you did. Uh, yeah, it was a lot that of flying, but back. it worked out. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.